Oh yeah boy, look what's this, what is this, universal combat, hell no it ain't, it's fucking battle cruiser HD, with your host Walter Richards from the game train, and the special permanent guest Zach. I can't get away from Derek Smart simulations. Who can resist? And look at that, online <laughs> mode. Too bad you can't click on that. Online but, mode? Yeah, it doesn't work yet. <laughs> Apparently we are supposed oh to make the online mode a thing soon enough. But we all know how that works. And you might know this, but I if noticed you... they have... Oh, maybe you finish first. <laughs> I noticed they had uh, some expensive DLCs available. The one expensive DLC for this game. Yeah, it was like 60 bucks too. Delirious Conflict or something. Not that anyone gives a shit about Delirious because it's somewhere far, far away. We actually <laughs> been there on Battle Cruiser Millennium, if I remember correctly. Anyway. Uh, I forgot what I wanted to say, so fuck it. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright, I, I remember. I remember, yeah. You, people that have played this before will notice that the, the music that's playing in the background is definitely not the music from this fucking game. Because this game's music kinda blows. We decided to borrow the music from Battle Cruiser Millennium Gold Edition and put it over this fucking game. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Uh, don't mind the L there, that's totally okay. First thing you'll notice <laughs> is that you can actually see yourself for a change, and not just your mug. And you know why that's a fucking awesome thing? Because now when you have all of these races... Damn! What the fuck? <laughs> is it just me or is his lo legs abnormally long? They kinda are. But yeah, <laughs> when, when you choose the race, you can actually see the difference for once. Which is good. Anyway, you know exactly what his name is. Yeah, Sage Bling. <laughs> the military commander. Straight out of uh, Galcom HQ. Almost said straight out of Compton, actually. <laughs> he would have been. We can click on the Fuck. asset and then we get to see our very own Super Cruiser Space Star Luxembourg Special right here in Full HD Glory. In fact, we're gonna put the name I... of it right now. I actually like the way it looks. I do too. I do like the improvement that they did to the graphics. But have they improved the game itself? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> First thing you'll notice is when you click on the fucking uh, ROM mode and do your checkup on your character, you get a choice between a tutorial and two different ROM modes, which is a very new, classy ass thing. In fact, the hell is that? In fact, older Battle Cruiser games didn't even have a tutorial scenario before. So yeah, you can actually learn how to play in the game! You don't need the manual! <laughs> Holy shit, what a concept! <laughs> you, you don't need the manual anymore! But No manual? No, but that's, that's another thing we'll bring up soon enough once you get into the game. But first, this scenario is completely freeform and is designed to be roleplayed using your imagination. It's a thing that every single one of the Battle Cruiser games says. By now, you should already know the history of the galaxy. Yeah, right. As such, we have you have probably made <laughs> your race, cast, and career choices based on that knowledge. Now you are being thrust, like a dick into a pussy, into the galaxy, and oh. left to your own devices. <laughs> there are no hints, oh, no tips, no directions, and certainly no instructions as to what you can and cannot do. You are on your own. 
left to create your own gameplay premise in a massive and virtual world. Which is still missing the massive part, actually, because of the lacking multiplayer mode. <laughs> the game will not end unless your alter ego dies. Depending on your game profile choices, what you must do is very obvious. Examples include playing as a Terran military commander, which is us, assisting Galcom forces mm. and allies in thwarting and curbing threats from insurgents, which is not us, raiders and other hostile races and castes. As a raider, your goals may be to disrupt trading lines, trade and gain riches, etc. The possibilities for each race, cast and career combination are unlimited. Well, technically they are limited because uh, that's how maths work. But let's say they are unlimited. As such, what you can do is limited only by your own imagination. Good luck! Why is there even a reject button here? Reject, I don't want to play this smart game. Smart, I reject you. <laughs> <laughs> but despite all the bad things so far, I haven't seen Smart being his usual cocky bastard self so far, so I'm kind of worried that people might be just making fun out of him on purpose. There's actually one uh, Twitter account which is called Derek Smarter Than You, which is made solely for the purposes of parodying <laughs> Derek Smart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this here, this here is us, and we actually got a zoom. Look at that sexy beast. Oh it yeah, it looks pretty nice actually. And we don't have the fucking stupid ass Tron arrows anymore. We got fucking turbo boosters. Look at that shit. Look at that Do shit. We get disco balls. Look at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I'm not sure about the disco balls though. Oh, I like this fucking music. It's good. Other things which we are very familiar with are still back with us, like our fucking interface. Slight differences here and there, like the solar panel reactor is now called S reactor. Not that you can do anything with it. We also gotta turn on the PDA turrets. Damn boy, look at that ugly that mug. Looks really nice. We also have the ability to launch mines now out of this ship. And in fact, I believe the manual stated that you can have these mines inside of your ship's uh, various rooms in case of uh, alerts, like you know, intruders and shit. Which is pretty fucking cool. And look at that, planet Earth doesn't look like trash anymore. <laughs> Blue as fuck it is. <laughs> let's, let's turn around a bit. Now, the first thing you'll need to know is how to control your ship. Because it's slightly different now. While moving left and right is still the same as before, insert and delete. Using the afterburners and retro rockets is now entirely in the hands of W and S, which is a lot more intuitive than tab and tilt. That is a lot better. No cheat engine for this? Oh, I am using the cheats. What do you think I am? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, well, that looks a little better. Am I flying? Damn, it? those clouds on Earth move fucking fast though, holy shit. I'm not sure if I'm even moving with the retro rockets anyway. Sometimes they don't want to work for some reason. <laughs> it doesn't It doesn't look like it's doing anything. No, it's not. Whatever. Shall we explore Earth then? Of course. Oh, I'm hyped, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoosh. We have a whole different loading screen for entering planets. It looks weird at the moment. We also have more problems. Like... <laughs> what? 
This is a very cinematic entry to the atmosphere, by the way. We always burn up a little, so don't worry about that. Planetfall established. Oh yeah, boy, we established Planetfall. But it's kind of dark, so let's see. Uh, Shift T, I believe, was the thing. Oh, yes. This apparently turns on and off the radar for some fucking reason, so you might want to consider doing something about that as well. It's like glitching out. Must be taken off duty. Ah, uh, look at that. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing we just noticed it. Weather effects. Snow? Weather effects. Never seen before in a battle cruiser game. Snow that comes from above the clouds. <laughs> Snow that comes from above fucking Africa. Oh yeah, you thought they're That's still... True. You thought they're actually in fucking uh, South America? Let me show you that you are... Wrong! <laughs> Fuck. The same bullshit as always has returned once again. It doesn't matter where you land, you'll still end up in the middle of the world. I don't know why they do that. But it also seems like there's a lot more fucking places to visit. Not that any of them are worth yes. a damn. <laughs> middle of the ocean, no less. Yeah. Those are probably on the islands, actually. Damn, what ugly pictures. It's look, it looks like it's from Commodore 64. <laughs> they couldn't grab some Google map? Damn. Damn, boy. Well, actually, let's visit the South Pole. Man, you know you want to. Look at that city! Damn. They even have... They have some lights. They actually look like buildings for a change, something that people would live in. <laughs> what the hell is <laughs> going on with that sky? pyramid houses. <laughs> yeah, but they still kind of have the same issue with uh, satellite imaging for streets. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Do, do you see that thing? Is that somebody else? It's a thing that moves! Someone's doing something! It's alive! Not that it matters, really. This thing isn't as alive as you think it is. <laughs> you can actually Bomb zoom it. in and out with page up and page down, which actually is also pretty intuitive when you think about it. Oh, I'm glad they started figuring some of this shit out. Yep. But here's the thing. We no longer are able to select buildings and add them to priority lists. We can only select things, like that driving thing that we saw earlier. Now I call it a thing because I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> if you think traveling in the fucking planet is any better than before, you are sorely fucking mistaken, good sir. But first, let's visit logistics. Look at this motherfucking interface. I no longer have to use the zoom for this shit. Of course, you get some more stupid crap. Tractor beam is not necessary. Also, launch control and transporter control have kind of been uh, merged, you see. Before, we had shuttle launch bay and some other fucking bay. Now for all the shuttles and whatever you got in your ship, it's just launch control. Turn that shit off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually hold on to buttons to make some beeping noises too if you're into that kind of autism. No. We can actually see some of our people here. They have holographic imaging and they look retarded. Who's the combat oh, officer? Oh god! The guy's super angry! Oh, but... You might remember that our good old uh, combat officer, Paul Resnig, that used to roam around with us, Sage Blinger, which is us right now, he looks the best out of all the people. He looks like Ma like Shepard from Mass Effect. Shepard, what are you doing back on Earth? There's Reapers to kill. Shh. 
Who? Shepard. Who said I'm Shepard, motherfucker? I'm Sage fucking Blinger. <laughs> the roster screen is actually worth a damn. Of all the section for medals, you'll never get to look at it. Because really, what the fuck are you expecting to see there? You actually can see some crew statistics here, but nobody gives a shit about that. What we want to see is that our current combat officer, who looks nothing like the old Paul Resnick, is indeed Paul Resnick. And we also he's know- He's so angry. Yeah, he's fucking pissed. We also know who the hell is Kendrick now. It's the chief engineer. No wonder people tell him to fix shit. I still didn't have a chance to see the the market, actually. But we'll get to that later. Now, we gotta go to the North Pole. Oh, yeah. Uh, like I mentioned, this game has new issues. For instance, flying fast in the planets is dangerous because for some reason the game likes to glitch out and sometimes throw you under the ground. Or just spam warning messages. Warning, warning. Warning, warning. Would you shut the fuck up? Holy shit! Yes, please! Fine, we'll touch the ground. Just shut up! Yeah, that'll work. Another thing you may notice. Um, what was that? <laughs> I was floating in the in the sky for some reason. <laughs> yeah, but now you'll notice that the ground actually has shit on it. Look at that, there's birds! There's trees! There's birds! What the hell? Trees, trees and birds and snow in the middle of African islands. And this giant fucking piece it's of shit. Miracle. It's a miracle of smart. And we can drive on this. <laughs> it doesn't look very funky at all actually, because we can't speed up a lot on this uh, level. In fact, I'm still- It looks pretty nice actually. It does. But we can do this. And this makes things go One fucking crazy. Damage. I think we damaged our armor in a hole a bit. What am I doing? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I'm still not sure how to lift off actually. What's he doing? Okay. I guess he wants to gain altitude. <laughs> The ship looks kind of like a, a repurposed reaper, when you think about it. Yeah, from this angle, it looked like a reaper. What the fuck? It does. What, what is that beam? Oh, that's your jets. Yeah, that's my, <laughs> that's my jets, but what the... Wait a minute, I thought they only go out in a straight line. They're gonna, they're gonna put a hole through the fucking <laughs> hull. They are! <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe it's shooting laser beams as it's going along. Now it's just flying like a reaper. And now it's flying backwards. Uh oh. Warning, 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 warning. I think it was trying warning. to glitch out of the ground. Yeah, because it still thinks it's in the ground. And that's why I'm not really a fan of visiting planets. They are glitchy as shit. I'm not sure how to get out of planets, too. I don't remember how to do that. But I think... I think our little friend Smart can help us out here, because he did one thing right. If you press Alt H... The manual opens! It's actually included. And it gives you an epilepsy warning right there. This <laughs> manual will give you epilepsy. I like the young child portrait that was displaying, by the way. Oh, then they paused the game? Yeah. Look at all this crap. Using gestures. Who the fuck? Alert conditions. Put this on your t on your iPad. All of this crap, and they want you to read the read through this before you do anything in the game. What am I looking for again? No. Control schemes. Oh yeah. 
Paragraph six. I thought you were gonna look up why the the jets were going through the hole. No, I'm looking how to get out of the fucking atmosphere. <laughs> I forgot the button. It's different than before. That's the issue. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. If you are using a joystick, the speed value is modified by the joystick throttle if enabled. Fuck that. I'm not interested. This, this ah, is here we go. <laughs> to leave a planet, pitch the ship upwards and using the EAI as a cue, fly to an altitude of 14,000 feet. So it's feet! We found out the measurement! It's feet! <laughs> All this time, it's feet. Who the fuck measures distance by feet in space? Um, some say a smart man would. Well, maybe it's just for the altitude. I'm not sure about the distance. Then press the shift plus nine key to get out. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What's wrong with... Oh, that was the button before. Warning, 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 okay, warning, shift nine. Warning, 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 oh, that warning, favorite warning, sound. Warning, warning. Establishing spacefall. Oi! What's happening? Did you see that? Some kind of blue shit was all over my face. I'm not sure what to think of that. It was it Earth? I think it was the atmosphere. Or maybe it was the. Maybe it was just the friction actually. It was that. Oh, of course, enemies. That's what. They never leave us in peace. <laughs> <laughs> but now we know that Earth sucks and we can't quite visit it. So fuck it. Let's go to some other place. 